you know, first of all, you know, thanks for taking the time uh, to be at AppSphere. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Uh, I also want to thank all the customers and partners uh, who have put us on this amazing journey of growth and success. And, you know, everything that we've been building over all these years has always been really well received. And it's been solving really hard problems for many of our customers. And uh, they've constantly been giving us feedback, helping us refine it, and make them the best products in the market. So, so thank you again. And it's really because of your feedback. So what I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about <clears throat> is talking about some of the problems that we're really excited in solving and map them back to what we're doing in the platform that David just talked about. So one of the most important problems that we're very excited about is the problem of scale. So David just talked about the numbers, some of the sheer numbers, the data that we're ingesting. And that's why scale is a very exciting problem. So when we started, right, it was about hundreds of agents, hundreds of servers um, you know, working together as a set of services being accessed by a bunch of applications running on the browser. But think about what the application landscape is right now. You look at the application layer, what used to be hundreds of services now is a set of hundreds and hundreds and thousands of interconnected microservices delivering user experience. You look at the client layer, what used to be code running on the browser is now code running on mobile phones. But not just that, with IoT coming in and software consumption completely changing the way we know, knew it, the scale there and the amount of code that's running on the client layer is really, really completely changed from what it used to be. You also look at the database layer and what that used to be, where it used to be Oracle or MySQL or DB2, now are huge clusters of Cassandra, huge clusters of Mongo. So that has completely changed in that layer also. And then on this scale, you add <clears throat> the number of people, because you, you look at the connected customer and the scale that's happening, and you add systems and process and people who are trying to really make it work, it's a, it's a really big problem, right? So when we look at this problem, you know, one of the things that was really cool was when, when Jyoti said for the first time, hey, you know, what we are about is we monitor every line of code that's running everywhere on millions of entities, right? And I think that's, that to us was our mission. Our mission was how do we let you move fast, right? How do, you, how do we let you monitor everything? Because you need to be able to see everything, but focus on the key metrics. And what that means is, as you saw in the Okta video, it's about finding the microregressions, right? And a microregression in a line of code is not just about that line of code, but how it impacts the user experience. Because the microregression is actually in the user experience. It's impacting your business. So for us to piece together all the interactions that are happening across the millions of lines of code as we monitor it and point out to you the microregressions, the issues that are happening, I actually think microaggressions should be a hashtag. It's a really cool word. You know, I think uh, that's another one we should uh, tweet about. Um, so, so, if you, so if you look at sort of piecing that, that's really what our mission is. And we embrace that mission so that you can keep delighting your customers. Right? So that, that's really the, the core of it. And the way we solve this problem, the way we embrace this problem, is the AppIQ platform. Um, I think it's a really cool way of describing what our philosophy is, and I'll walk you through uh, the elements. But uh, let's get right to what we've been doing in the areas listed in the platform, and we also have some demos uh, planned for you. So first, I want to talk about Map IQ and Baseline IQ. So Map IQ and Baseline IQ, this is a great way of looking at all the processing that's happening uh, in, in your application. So translate that to key business metrics. So whether it's all the traffic translated into business transactions, whether it's all the overall traffic and representing that as a flow map, or looking at microservice KPIs and translating that into service endpoints. We take those key metrics, and then we baseline them, learn what's normal, and all of the system works based on that. So what I want to talk about today is a significant enhancement that we're doing to give you great visibility into MapIQ. And it is to do with business transactions. As you all know, ever since we started, 
business transactions are the center of our universe and will continue to be and help us solve the problem in a very elegant way. So here's how this feature works. The first thing you do is you connect to live traffic. So any server that's processing application traffic, you connect to it. The next thing that happens as you connect to it using this feature is it starts giving you instantly what business transactions are being generated by that server, right? So it, it's giving you with the set of configuration, with our great auto discovery that's actually looking at the traffic, what is being produced from all the transactions. And from there, you can, if you need to tweak, if you want to change transaction names in terms of, hey, I want to slice this based on the customer profile, I want to change this based on the nature of whatever the other activity is, you're able to then introspect web traffic. It works as well for you know, code and methods. It works as well for messaging. And then you're able to tweak that in, in, in real time and get instant feedback on what that will produce in terms of the results. So that's sort of going to make that a lot easier in terms of how you do it. So the next step after map and baseline is diagnostic IQ. Now, that does a great job of getting to the lowest level of detail when you're trying to find a problem and identify a regression. So whether it's call graphs, whether it's SQL queries, whether it's page diagnostic timings, garbage collection characteristics, that's really what it is. So we have enhanced it significantly by adding another element that we thought was really important, which is data from threat contention. So when you pop open a snapshot, which really helps you identify a, a bad user request, we represent transaction time with wait time, CPU time, and block time. So when you want to drill down into block time on where contention is happening, you can look at the mutex. You can look at the detail of how you can diagnose it. So it's as simple as that, getting from the snapshot into the detail of the mutex. So those are the two things in terms of map IQ, baseline IQ, as well as diagnostic IQ. Uh, now let's talk about enterprise IQ. 